All right. Terrible. I feel like what's gonna happen, it's not gonna sound as good as I as it feels out here. I brought in a guest who's seen it many times. So recently, Chad Smith stopped by the Drumeo studio and it was a blast to film some videos with him and interview him during his live feature. And one of the songs I asked him to open the lesson with was Suck My Kiss. This is a song I've always wanted to learn because of the syncopated grooves, shots, and accents. And Flea and Chad are just so locked in with the bass and drums. So let's give Chad a call and let's see if he has any tips before I start learning it. So what are you doing? We're gonna learn Suck My Kiss. Is there anything I should know before I start learning it? No, why would I tell you that? That way that when you fucking blow it, <laughs> I can go back to the fucking woodshed. <laughs> The question is though, what happens if I uh, if I don't play it up to Chad's standards? I'll give you. I'll I'll be honest with you. If you I want, love it. Or if you want me to just be funny, then I'll just be funny. No, we we want the we want the straight up opinion. <laughs> All right. It's just it's fucking same shit over and over. That's it. You got it. I love it. <laughs> cool, man. Have a good show, and right, see you soon. You got it. Cool. All right. Peace. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> Time to get to work. Here we are, I've got uh, the song loaded up on Drumeo songs. So I'm gonna listen through first, uh, just with the full track, follow along with the sheet music that I have here, and try my best to sight read this, and then we'll come back and we'll circle back to some parts. Yeah, these fills, Chad said they, they've got to swing. And you got to swing those fills going into the before the chorus. Something with the triplets there. One of the reasons I love this song and I've always wanted to learn it is because there's so much happening between the kick and the snare uh, offbeats. Like when you think of Chad Smith's playing and that funk influence, this is like the perfect, uh, wow, and the bass drum pedal came off. It's like the perfect example of that. Sometimes they're a cymbal choke, sometimes they're a hi-hat bark. Just knowing what goes where, you're gonna have to work on that a bit. There's a lot of accent, duh -uh, duh -uh, you know, and, and all that shit. Some of them are like choke cymbals and some of them are hi-hat barks. And I don't know which yeah. ones are which, but you'll be yeah. able to hear them. That right there, it's weird because he plays, he plays a backbeat in between those barks. No, he doesn't. My whole life of listening to this, I thought he was playing hi-hat barks there, but he just plays straight through. Mind blown. All right, so at this point, I feel pretty good about kind of like the main ideas, but uh, I want to try this all the way through without looking at the notation. So I'm going to try this with drumless all the way through, and I'm not going to look at the notation this time. And let's see how it goes. I feel like what's going to happen is I've learned this from the notation pretty much, and then the notes are there for the most part, but I have a feeling it's not gonna sound as good as I as it feels out here. So let's try once more. And then uh see how it sounds. You never really know until it's um until it's recorded. It's a bit rushed there. I'm also not a fan of uh, how many ghost notes I'm doing either. And even throughout, not 100%, some of the cymbal chokes sound like open hi-hats and vice versa. I'm curious to know. I have to go back and check that. That part was right. Let's just say you can tell that was, uh, it needs some work. So 
you know what, I, uh, I might need to go get some help. Time for a drum lesson. What's up, Chad? What the f are you doing here? I need, I need some help. I just need a drum lesson. So you need a drum lesson. Come on in. Yeah, come teach me. You have a kit in here, I assume. I do. I have a kit today. Maybe, yep. maybe this one here. Well, if you're into the pots and pans, for sure, we yeah. can do that. That's a Be little, cool. you know, that's just kind of a more of a niche. The uh, Chili Peppers tribute band. Yep. But if you want to get loud and proud, we go with this guy. I like it. And then you have all your favorite heroes critiquing you. Who's uh, Silently. Who, who do you have on the wall? Oh, like... well, I have a lot of Led Zeppelin because I, I, I'm a big fan of the Led Zeppelin. And, um, you know, a lot of, of my heroes growing up. So, um, all right, so you want to learn what? Suck my kiss. Suck my kiss. I learned it. But there's some parts that just don't sound right. Really? So I figured you you're come, the first you come to can, the source. I've come to the source. Okay. And if you can't help me, then I'm helpless. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, you got to be honest. Brutally. Brutally honest. I will. Here we go. Let's see if I can nail the downbeat. Thing. I know the fill, and this is just the way I did it. I can show you that yeah, going into please, the chorus. Please. And then the chorus beat, I think, is a little. I'll just show you the like yeah. fill before the chorus. Mm -hmm. I think you're kind of going like. It swung. Yeah. I think you're going. Like yeah, that. I think I was doing like snare rack, snare, and then over. I think it's, it, it does like. Like a Motown, like that swingy kind of, you know. Uh, so, <laughs> but not straight, it's gotta be swung. Yeah. That, not I do not. What well, I, that's what I thought it always was. I know. And then it's like, not. Is there even there in there? It, you just keep playing like two and four. But that's what I always remembered. Like growing up, hearing the song, uh, I always thought there were the barks. Right. But probably because I always did <laughs> watch live. live. If you were watching yeah. live, yeah. That's not good. <laughs> And then, um, so, yeah, I think in the in the pre-course, I was adding extra kicks. You were getting, so, you yeah, were getting fancy on the kick, good to know. which is cool. But it's it's, but it's not right. <laughs> it's not well. And the reason why it's less is because we. I remember John wrote that chorus. He's like, I want like an ACDC kind of chorus. Hmm. And if you listen to it, it's a da 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 da. And I'm kind of just trying to play along to those in a syncopated way instead of somebody's at the house. Turn that shit down! Second one, yeah. and the last one is just, it's just, just I just, I mean, I might have done it with the foot, I don't know, but da 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 da. 
Anyway, so those are the only the okay. really the thing besides that. Nice. So you're playing with Taylor Hawkins drumsticks, by the way. Am I really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> yeah. No pressure, man. And then the verses, you can just tighten up a little, maybe tighten up a little bit, keep it tough. Yeah. So that then was, it got somewhere to go so you can open up in the chorus. A and that bit. was one thing like I was curious about too, because your your hats are always moving and stuff in different levels of tension almost on the hats. Yeah. So I guess bring them down a little bit in the verses. Yeah, try getting try that, that fill, fill and that and the chorus beat yeah. and you're And then play the chorus beat. Ba on da on. Keep the hi hat going. All the way like, through. Keep the quarter notes going. I know, you get used to a certain thing. I get it, I get it. Nice. No, that, I mean, you don't have to, but that's, that's the way I did it. So. Dude, I've, I've got to get the Chad Smith stamp of approval. i got to do this right. <laughs> There's going to be people yeah, watching. And go, and go, my God, out there, drum your left. And keep, but to get that jot and to get it out, like keep that, make sure you hear the, like, tight hats and okay. hear all the eight quarters or whatever they are. That, that's it. Okay. But uh, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it is. I just played through and just accent with the kick on the but on uh, uh, but on. Uh. Okay. You would do great in a Chili Pepper tribute band. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe a Brazilian tribute. So all you Chili Pepper tribute bands out there in Brazil, <laughs> I see you're not playing the beat quite correctly, and the hi hat police is gonna come and give you a ticket. Chad's gonna end up at your house and. He'll know. <laughs> Just the, the fill going into the chorus is a little different than the way I did it. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, the beat in, in, the, in the actual chorus is a little more straight, a little more ACDC-like. Yeah. And... Um, Boom. There it is, Malibu. Perfect. There's some really cool things I picked up there. I felt like I was pretty prepared going in, but he did pick out a few things that I was playing wrong or incorrectly. So I'm gonna head back up to Drumeo and I'm gonna work and refine a few of these things. And then we're gonna play it live for Chad and see if I can get his approval. So I'll see you back there. All right, so we're back from Chad's place. We're back at Drumeo and I've been working on some of the things that he talked about in the lesson that we had. And in just a few minutes, Chad's gonna be on Zoom and I'm gonna to try to play the whole song for him, applying all the things that he taught me. So no pressure, but let's see if I can get his approval. Let's go to the studio. We've even got some uh, chili peppers on the bass drum beater. So yeah, Chad's gonna be coming in over Zoom. I think he's in New York right now. So he's gonna, it's like we're hosting the Drumeo Live lesson, but we've just swapped places. So it should be pretty fun. And he's got his coffee or whatever his, uh, drink of choices <laughs> and he'll be producing the lesson so this should be fun there he is boy mate how you doing man i'm sponsored by I'm diet good. coke i mean oh there's there's the other angle small look at oh, that nice. giant hand <laughs> We've got you set up so it's it looks like you're hosting a, a Drumio live lesson. And right. a laptop. Oh, I see me over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm on the drum. Welcome to Drumio. Here we are, Drumio. And boy, is it gonna be a great day. I'm so excited. One of my favorite drummers is here. <laughs> and I'm sure you're probably familiar with him. If I'm not mistaken, Brendan's going to be uh attempting to play uh, a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. I'm a tough, I'm a tough sell, pal. 
I know. <laughs> no pressure. And uh, um, I'm excited to see where this is go. This is this is going to be awesome. So, uh, Brendan, take it away. Whenever you're ready, man. Let's let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I'm sailing. I brought in a guest, uh, you know, a, a guest who's seen it many times, Dashiell. He wanted to give you his uh, two cents, Dashiell. Please. Okay. Um, it's pretty close. Just Ooh. one more thing. What is it? You forgot to go like this. <laughs> See, I don't know if I'll ever learn that. <laughs> but great advice. <laughs> he was walking by. I go, I go, check this guy. He's trying to play like me. He goes, Ah, pretty close. So we not stop making the face. <laughs> now, Brendan, you came to my house. You played on my kit. I did. And sounded good. I had a few. I had a few pointers. Not many. Just a few. The, the in the in the chorus. Got that. Nailed that. Check. <laughs> I like that you were, took your own liberties on some of the fill. You did some triplets. You did some other stuff. Going into the chorus. Uh, remember it was Tom. You were going, you went like this. You went, you went snare to the floor, Tom. Yeah. And it's like a Motown film. 
Gotcha. I'm just saying, if, if if that's fine, you don't have to do it like that. You played with conviction. That's the most important to me. Like own it. Like mm. play it. This is you know a kind of a high energy song, and you played it like I this, I got it. I, this is me. I got it. If the other there were other guys running around in front of you, I think they would have felt that as well. So yeah. How did you feel? It it felt much better than when I showed up at your place. Like I think. Um, the drum, the drum fill. I think I did change the orchestration like a little bit. Um, I think you even said it started That's with okay. like two two toms or something off the top. And the pre-chorus or the chorus groove, that one felt a lot better since you actually said quarter note pulse. And I was adding in some extra kicks. I think before, uh, and then the, all the hi hat yes. stuff. Uh, I think when I was at your place, I was playing pretty much everything sloshy, so tightening it up on the verses. So I think overall it felt a lot better, but. Obviously, could be refined a little bit uh, to like even more detail. You're a good student. You're a good. You're a, and you're a quick learn. You know. Thank so you, man. That, I mean, it's not the most difficult song in the world, obviously. But no, that I mean, exactly what you said. Those things all got tightened up and 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 sounds pretty good. So um, next time, if I get a hangnail, uh, they're gonna call you. Perfect. I'll uh, I'll fill in with the boys for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for you, man. You, congratulations. You're a fine musician. You make good musical choices. You play with conviction. You're fucking handsome. And, what can I uh, say? <laughs> you know, you're a powerful man. What else do you need? <laughs> Thanks, Chad. So it sounds it sounds like you uh, at you're least welcome. approve of my version. <laughs> I definitely approve of your version. Believe me, I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> It's only up from here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you let us know down in the comments. And we also have a ton of other Chad Smith content here on the Drumeo channel, including his long awaited Here's a Song for the First Time episode, which is gonna drop really soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because you don't wanna miss it.